Hello, and welcome to the main overview video for the Joshua Bell Virtual Violin. After two years of intense development, I'm so excited to show you what we've been up to. This instrument, uh, this virtual instrument, is a major leap forward for us with just so many innovations and new features meant to make for a better sound and um, a better performance experience too. So before I blab on, I will start with a little improvisation here. We designed this instrument around Joshua and the idea that a user would be able to experience his bold, beautiful sound and the timbre of his rare and priceless Stradivarius, which has its own story that we can go into um, in a different video. So throughout the crazy development process, our number one priority was making sure to honor Joshua's sound and his approach, just getting the style right. And beyond that, we wanted to make a virtual instrument that offered tons of control so that someone could pick this thing up and play, get inspired right out of the box. Um, but doing that without losing the depth of MIDI programmability that we have always held on to as a company. So this thing can be programmed with an insane level of detail. Um, you could make this instrument your own. All right, so one thing that makes this virtual instrument really special is legato. Embertone's obsession with legato is pretty much the foundation of our company. It's what inspired us to start making instruments like Jubal Flute and um, Shire Whistle and, and all these others. We sampled Joshua playing true legato intervals with a huge variety of articulations. So multiple dynamics, different speeds, and playing styles. Bow change legato is one style, and that means the direction of the bow changes from note to note. So what you just heard was only bow change legato. The other style of legato that we focus on here is slur. That's where the movement of the bow doesn't change from note to note and it gives you a smoother sound.
Portamento is the other main style of legato transition that we recorded. It's an emotional slide from note to note. So I'll start playing just portamentos, and then I'll integrate all three uh, into a melody so you can see what it's like. So that's legato, and if we go into the articulation area, you'll see that legato isn't even mentioned because it's just falling under that category of sustain. So we're at the tip of the iceberg in terms of articulation. Now I'll do a quick run through of all the articulations that we have in the instrument. Um, in this menu, you can browse with the mouse to find all the articulations, and this little blue button would allow you to unload and load each articulation in and out of RAM, if you want to save RAM. Sustain can't do that just because it's kind of the default of the instrument. All right, here we go. Now I'll go through the short articulations. We recorded three different types of short articulations. There's staccato, spiccato, and ricochet. Let's see ricochet here. There's two different kinds of ricochet. There's the single note, which is very short. It's a bouncing the bow off the string. And then there's combined ricochet, which when you play harder, or at least depending on which preset you use. So you can do this. Let's play a little bit more of the uh, short articulations separately and together.
Let's listen to Pizzicato also. We recorded four dynamics of Pizzicato. Uh, piano, mezzoforte, forte, and Bartok snap pits. We also have a beautiful layer of harmonic samples. Let's listen to the harmonics. You can also trigger the harmonics in a pretty realistic way. Um, we call this instant key switching. So you'll be starting from a normal type of sound. And you can get right into harmonics just by playing the key switch, and it'll instantly start. Beyond that, we also recorded a bunch of dynamic sustains. These have dynamics built into them. So there are different flavors. We have short and long crescendos, short and long diminuendos, and then what we're calling contour samples, which just have a nice swell up and down. And so we have short and long Beyond that, we recorded a set of Ponticello tremolos, shorts. Um, actually, the shorts are modeled with Silpont and pizzicato and sustains.
Also, the entire instrument has a layer of sordino on it that we modeled from Joshua's violin. Thank you for watching the first overview video. In this video, we covered the main articulations and the overall approach that we went through. In the next overview video, we will tackle the character, intuition, control, and settings pages. Thanks for watching and see you soon.